Là c'est juste un flou artistique mais genre magnifique. Regarde ça, c'est beau. Le mec est un en FaceTime. Hi there, welcome to this vlog slash thrift haul. If you're new here, my name is Chloe, I'm a Belgian illustrator, crafter, writer and YouTuber. I've got a bunch of videos documenting my life as an artist as well as daily shenanigans that you can go watch after this one. In July I was out and about quite a lot and it was so much fun. I went to an art gallery with a friend, I also spent a lot of time with my family because my brother and his girlfriend were visiting from Mexico, so that time we went out for lunch with them and my sister. It was a very lovely sunny day and we ended up going to the cat cafe where they currently have kittens. They are absolutely adorable. We had such a lovely time. Salut Claire We've seen all the fun and all the food, time for the thrift haul. Hi guys, welcome to the haul portion of this video. Yeah, so I've been thrifting a little these past few days. Um, so I'm going to show you my thrift finds from um, very normal, basic, happy I found it, but like it's not exceptional, gradually to absolute gem. <laughs> So first, um, I needed a black belt <laughs> because I only have a pink and a brown one and uh, yeah, I needed a black belt. <laughs> Happy I found it. Uh, this cropped white t-shirt, it's originally from Zara. It's an S but uh, it's an oversized S so works amazingly for me. Then this very cool long waistcoat type of thing. Very cool to, really cool for layering to give a bit of flair to a very basic outfit. Like you throw that on a white t-shirt and some jeans and that's not just white t-shirt and some jeans anymore. It's a fit. Then I got them light pink sweatpants really nice, um, really nice for lounging and also for these infamous days where I don't really want to get dressed but I still need to get out of the house for like food shopping and that kind of stuff uh, and I don't want to get dressed but I don't want to look like an absolute potato because I just just don't feel good like that so uh... oh my god the sun please stop I'll never film in the bedroom ever again. <laughs> so yeah, um, they go really well with the white cropped t-shirt, so uh, that's that. So now we're entering more like gem territory. I have been looking for slip dresses, like nightgowns type of things for ages. Oh, and also, before I forget, this is also in the quite basic but really happy I found it category, it's this massive Adidas mustard t-shirt, perfect to wear with my little biking shorts. Um, 
this is my airport outfit for tomorrow. <laughs> so, slip dresses, amazing, very cool, like, beige, it's a bit skin tony, um, slip dress, really nice with a t-shirt under it, um, biking shorts, the belt, it, it works really well, it makes for a really nice little edgy outfit, so I do be loving it. This one, though, so it's, it's this very light green, a little bit like my nail polish, but lighter and see-through, obviously. It's a bit shimmery, so I really like it. And you've got these lace details. And down here, it's got slits with, with lace, like laced slits. Sadly, it's got a few holes that I need to fix. I don't know if I'll have the time to fix it today so and anyways I'm probably I'm not gonna take it because uh, to England with me I mean uh, because it's going to be quite rainy it's like not cold but quite rainy and like it's see-through so even with something underneath it would just be completely useless so this is staying here and then we've got this amazing like color blocking shirt it's giving bowling shirt but it's really really cute like i love the colors so it's got lilac yellow and pink and the pocket so the pocket is yellow and it's embroidered in pink and lilac and it reads the nature and legend I absolutely have no idea what they meant by that, <laughs> but, but now we're entering true true gem territory. This amazing leather jacket, and now the pièce de résistance, the real gem, chef's kiss, absolutely amazing, this little bejeweled embroidered bag absolutely amazing look at the details it's just so beautiful i couldn't resist when i saw it it's just absolutely amazing look at that it's the perfect size just for my phone my id it's amazing for a little night out going for drinks it's perfect i love it I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. Um, Linus doesn't know it, but we're going to go see Six the Musical. Uh, so yeah, I think this little bag is going to come with me because it's really, really royal. Um, for the outfit, I don't know yet. I don't know yet if I'm going to wear my little bustier thing or if I'm going to wear the slip dress with the t-shirt underneath and uh, the belt and all that. Um, I'll have to see what's the weather like in London, um, but yeah, pretty excited for that. Um, well, I'm going to pack now and I will see you in literally a second uh, because I will have to pack some art supplies, obviously, but I don't know what yet, so uh, I thought it would be fun to do that with you. See you! <laughs> Spoiler alert, I drew a grand total of one sketchbook page during my 10 days in England. I did a lot of writing though, but that's for a sprouting storyteller's log, not for this one. So here's all the things I took with me and didn't use. My wax pastels, my coloured pencils, I took a bunch of graphite pencils, mechanical pens and black ink pens, 
obviously an eraser, a pencil sharpener, more wax pastels that I absolutely didn't use. Look at all the space it takes. I could have taken half of it and it would have been just fine. <laughs> Goodness. I took my sketchbook that I barely used, my notebook that I barely used because my boyfriend gave me his iPad and my planner that I didn't use. So all of that went in my rucksack and took an immense amount of space. Something I'm really happy I took with me was La Vagabonde by Colette because I thoroughly enjoyed it and it's an amazing book. I recommend it. Thanks a lot for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, share with your friends and see you next time. Bye!